okay so we were solving chapter we were discussing chapter number 2 that is linear equation in one variable okay yes, so sir. have you completed your assignment exercise 2.3 uh, yes sir, i have finished it just yesterday okay, okay. i have okay and you have sent the assignment yes amal you have sent the assignment Uh, yes. Wait, I will. Okay. I think so. so we were discussing example number फिफ्टीन here. Okay. Yes sir. not example 15 example number 14 here okay did you got the did you got how we solve this example yes sir okay very good now now next you have got exercise 2.4 okay it is based on the same thing here also you will be taking help of variables to solve the equation okay okay yes. have you solved all the questions of exercise 2.4 in your school um Yes, sir. We have. We are in chapter number four, I believe. Oh, you are in chapter have... number four. I mean, we are in chapter number three, but next chapter is twenty four, only four. Right now, there uh, in our class, this division is going. Division of which chapter is going on? Yes. Sir. Division of which chapter is going on? Uh, all chapters are mixed. Okay, okay. Of all the chapters. Okay, okay. Chapter three has been completed. Chapter three, yes, sir. Okay, okay. Chapter three has been completed. And have you got the portion for your exam? Uh, yes, sir. I think yes, yes. Okay, okay, okay. So, which chapters are part of your syllabus? Which uh, chapters are part of your exam? Chapters, chapter number one, chapter number two. I think so, sir. All the all the subjects have three chapters in it. Okay, all the subjects have first three chapters yes, from sir, sequence. First. first three chapters. Okay, so in maths also you must be having first three chapters. Yeah. Okay, yeah. and when is your exam, by the way? Uh, my exam is on sixteenth June. On sixteenth of June. Yes. Okay then. Okay. Any idea when your final exams are going to be of class eight? uh on the after this year sir it will be after this year okay probably in the month of march it should be in the month of feb march okay final exam on march sir yeah it, probably it, it should be by march of next year yes yeah yes. okay okay so by that time we need to complete all the chapters okay so let's discuss exercise number 2.4 here okay now in this exercise you are provided with what problem type questions okay now let's start solving them okay can i erase this one have you got the solution of example 14 yes sir yes sir yes. okay so i'm erasing all this here Okay, see question number one here. What does the question says here? The first question says Amina thinks of a number and subtracts five by two from it. Then she multiplies the result by eight. Okay. Now the result now obtained is three times the same number she thought of it. What is the number? Okay. So what does Amina does here? She thinks of a number. So let's assume the number to be x. Let's assume 
number as x here. Okay, Amit. What she does? She subtracts five by two from it. So what she does here? The first step she does. C subtracts five by two from x here. Next, she multiplies the result by eight. Okay. So this is your result. Now she multiplies this value with what? With eight here. Yes, sir. The result now obtained is three times the number she thought of. So this result here, this whole result here is actually three times of the number which she thought of. What was the number which she thought of? Thought of x. Uh, she thought, thought of x, right? Yes. Yes. So according to question. This number is three times of the number she thought of. So can we say that x minus five upon two multiplied eight is actually equals to three times of x? Three x. Um, yes, sir. Of course, we could. We could of course do that. So yes. simply you will solve this equation and then you will get the value of x. So that x is the value she thought of. Okay. Yes, so quickly solve this question. Okay, Amit. Okay, sir. Yeah. Does teacher provide solution for all the questions in the class or do they give you to solve at home? Sir, so they, they ask children to do it. Okay, they ask children to do it. Okay. Okay. So did you complete all the questions of your size 2.4? Uh, all the questions? Yeah, by, yours, by yourself. No, 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 only in oh. the class. Okay, okay. Uh, sir, x is equals to zero. X equals to zero. That doesn't make any sense, Ahmed. How come x equals to zero here? Does Ahmed? Look, what you are need, going to do here, you need to multiply this value eight with x and five by two separately and then subtract them. Okay. I'm doing this one step. Afterwards, you have to solve. Okay. So what, what you will do here first, you will multiply eight with which value here? Eight with, um, eight with three. Look, Ahmed, what we are doing here. Okay. Look, if I give you a value E minus B. Okay. And outside I write a given value eight here. Okay. So how do you multiply this eight? with the value here, this value E minus B. How do you multiply eight with E minus B? First, you need to multiply eight with A here. That is eight multiplied A. And in between come minus sign. Then you will multiply eight with B here. Second step. So that is eight multiplied B here. Okay, Ahmed. So that is eight A minus eight B. Okay. okay sir. So same thing you are going to do here. Okay, just assume x and 5 upon 2 as a and b. And just follow the above method which I have uh, shown you here. Yeah, by the way, Ahmed, uh, you know, uh, do you remember, uh, have you remembered tables up to 20? Yeah, yes, sir. You have to remember tables up to 20? Yes, sir. Okay, okay, very good. Okay. So be ready from time to time. I might ask you any table given from 2 to 20. Okay. Okay. Because you see, tables are important. You might say that, sir, by multiplying the numbers, I can quickly find out the value. But if you have remembered the tables very uh, if, if you have remembered the tables it will help you to save your time while doing simple calculations okay yeah. okay are you on it uh, got yeah, the value yeah. 
Okay. Okay. So tell me, what will you write in the second step? Uh, eight x. Eight x. Minus. Minus. Forty upon two. Forty upon two. Very good. Equals to three x. Now, will you be able to solve it for the? Yes, sir. Yeah, solve it then. Uh, okay, so uh, sir, the answer is x equals to four. X equals to four. Four. Okay, let's check that. If you put the value four in the equation, the equation should be equal. The values on both the sides should be equal. So if I put four over here and four here also, both the values should be equal, right? So eight multiplied four that is thirty-two minus twenty. Equals to twelve, right? Thirty-two minus twenty that is equal to thirty-two minus twenty that is equal to twelve. Yeah, that is correct here. Okay, so the required answer here is what four here? Very good. So four is our number here. Okay, likewise you can solve other questions also. See question number second here. Okay, read okay. the question. What does it says? A positive integer is five times. A positive integer is five times another number. If twenty one is added to both the numbers, the yeah. one of them, one of the new numbers, become twice the of the the other new number. What are the numbers? Okay, so what are we going to do here? Uh, five. Times okay. If you were to find out the two numbers here, okay. okay. If you were to find out the two numbers here, what are we going to assume this them as? Assume them as. Um. We're solving question number two here. Okay. Yeah. So read the question. It says that a positive number is five times another number. Okay. If I have a number five, then another number is it's five times. That is twenty-five. Or if I have a number six, I have got a, another positive number that is five times of it. That is going to be how much? If I take number six, that is going to be thirty. Okay. 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 So, first number we will assume as what? Let's assume the first number as x. As x. Okay. Let's assume first number equals to x. Then what is second number going to be? What will be second number? A uh, second number would be sir. Uh, also x. How come also x? Look, the oh. question says that a positive number is five times another number. There are two numbers. The question is talking about two numbers here. First number is five times the another number. So if I take first number as x here, then question says that another number is five times the given number. So another number is going to be how much? Is it going uh, to be five plus x? I have given you option here. Is it going to be five x? Five x. It is going to be five x. Why? Because, Because the the quotient says so that it is five times. It is not five more than the number. It is five times the number. Now read further. What does the quotient says? Uh, the question says, if twenty one is added to the both new numbers. Yeah. So now, add twenty one to both numbers. Yes, sir. Twenty one to 
both numbers so what are numbers going to be the first number will become how much x so, plus 21 right yes sir and 5x plus 21 5x plus 21 okay another number will be 5x plus 21 now read for the word does the question says here uh, it's added to the both numbers. So one of the new numbers becomes a twice the other new numbers. Yeah. If we we'll multiply them with two. Why would we multiply them here? Look, if 21 is added to both the numbers, then one of the new numbers becomes twice the other new number. Okay. So what is happening here? I have added 21 to both of the number. Now, According to question, one of the number becomes twice of an, one of the number becomes twice of another number. Okay, so we can take consider any number to be twice of another number since we don't know the values of number here. Okay, read the question again. If 21 is added to both the numbers, then one of the new number becomes twice the other another new number. So we can say that 5x plus 21, okay, equals to twice of another number okay it becomes we will assume any number as twice of another number we could have taken x plus 21 also here so 5x plus 21 becomes twice of another number like so in equation in form of equation we can write it like this we can write it like this 5x plus 21 okay equals to twice of another number so twice of another means two multiplied another number right Ahmed? if i say twice of five what do you do do you multiply two with five or add two with five two with five two with five do you multiply two with five no so two, we add. no if i no. say twice of five or twice of three so you simply multiply it two multiplied three or if i say twice of x here let's say this is a sentence twice of x so what does it mean two multiplied x okay so what we are going to do here two multiplied x plus 21 that is according to the quotient okay again read the next line then it will become more clear Yeah. If 21 is added to, read this line once more. If 21 is added to, oh yes, if 21 is added to both the numbers, then one of them, the new numbers becomes twice the other new numbers. What are the, are the numbers? numbers? Okay. So did you get it how we are solving this question? First, what we did, we assume the first number to be x. And the question says that another number is 5 times the number. So that is 5x. Now we added 21 to both the numbers. We added 21. So first number became x plus 21. Another number became 5x plus 21. Now further, my question says that once I have added 21 to both the numbers, one of the number actually became twice of the another number. So since we don't know which number has become double of another number, so we assume that this 5x plus 21 became twice of another number. Okay. okay sir. Now in the form of equation, we can write them like this 5x 21. It becomes twice of another number that is twice of x plus 21. Okay. Ahmed, I hope no confusion so far. Yes, sir. Okay. Now, what you are going to do, you are simply going to solve this equation. Okay. Now, solve this one. Five. Solve this equation. Yeah. Oh, okay, sir.
जो सहमत ओके ओके सर वैल्यू इज़ इज़ आई मीन सेवन द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर इज सेवन हेयर वेरी गुड ओके दैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर सेवन हेयर सो यू मस्ट है फाइव एक्स प्लस ट्वेंटी वन इक्वल्स टू टू एक्स प्लस फोर्टी टू ओके सो हेयर थ्री एक्स इक्वल्स टू ट्वेंटी वन एंड एक्स गिवस यू ट्वेंटी वन अपॉन थ्री दैट इज सेवन ओके नाउ जस्ट फाइंड आउट द नंबर्स विच वी एज्यूम ओके नाउ यू हैव फाउंड आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स हेयर सिंपली पुट द वैल्यूज ऑफ वैल्यू ऑफ एक्स इन द नंबर विच वी एज्यूम देन यू विल गेट योर नंबर व्हाट आर द रिक्वायर्ड नंबर्स simply put the value of x over here on the number which we assumed and then you will get your answer okay sir this am i record the answer no sir okay am i do you know how to find the find the numbers here to find the numbers look we have found out the value of x here yes. okay so the value of x here is 7 what did yes, we sir. assumed x what did we assumed as x in the question so 5x no no this x which we assumed in the question what was it originally what was this value it was 7 Read the first line, Ahmed. Let's assume first number equals to x. Read this line. Let's assume first number equals to x. Okay. Ahmed, we assume the number as x. Okay. If you read the question again, it says that a positive number is five times another number. So one of the numbers we we assumed as x. So another number we assumed as five x. is this thing clear or not if there's any confusion in it i will explain again no sir no confusion so why are you taking so much time ahmed look the first number which we assumed was x so what is the first number we found out it to be 7 here yes okay so clearly you can say that this value is actually 7 here okay so automatically yeah, what yeah. is your another number going to be it is going to be 5 multiplied 7 na no? oh look if we assume values like this if i say that i take a uh, let's say there is an expression here it is 2x okay and x here actually stands for 5 so how do you found out the value of 2x here you okay. simply multiply 2 with 5 Yes. So that is that gives you ten. Same thing we are doing here. We found out when we solve the equation, we found out the value of x to be seven. So to find out another number in five x, we will simply put the value of x here. That is going to be give you going to give you five multiplied seven. That is how much. Okay, sir. How much is five multiplied seven? Thirty five. Thirty five. Okay, so what are the numbers here? What what are what are our answers here? Thirty five plus twenty one equals to two two into seven. Ahmed, you are not getting it. I am asking simply asking the numbers which we found out here in this question are they not our answers? 
look this 7 and 35 which we just solved these are our uh, are our required answer in the question okay. Oh, okay these are your required answer in the question okay yeah okay i'm going to give you one question to solve here okay look do one one thing here solve question number two yourself in the copy okay solve question number two again yourself i want you to solve this question yourself okay i'm writing i'm erasing all the things here okay you need to tell me what are the values which we assumed and how we are going to solve it yes, sir. okay ahmed Okay, solve question number two again, but this time yourself. Okay, so in this gap, which numbers we are going to assume, just do tell me. The gaps which I am taking here, just tell me which numbers we are going to do here and what are the steps we are going to follow. Okay. First number would be X. Let First number, number would be X. And the second would be 5X. 5X. Yes. Then we will add five uh, x plus twenty one. When you are uh, when you are telling me the steps, side by side, read the questions also. Read the question also. Okay. Okay. Uh, so. We add five x plus twenty one. And Why would we do that first? Look, because the question the says that add twenty one to both numbers. No. Yes, sir. I I was explaining the second one too. I was about to. Look, if you read question, what does the second line of question says here? Uh, Ahmed, second line yes. of the question. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, F add 21 is added to the both the numbers. Then one of the new numbers becomes twice the other number. Okay. So first we have assumed the numbers X and 5X. Then you are going to add 21 to both the numbers. So what are your numbers going to be? You need to add 21 separately to both the numbers. Okay, earlier you were telling you need to add x and 5x. That's not what you're going to do. We need to add 21 separately to both the numbers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Fill the blanks here. Fill the blank here. Uh, x. First number. Add 21 to the... So, x plus 21. x plus 21. Very good. Yeah. X plus 21 and then 5x plus 21. 5x plus 21. Okay. So far, very good. Now, what is the next step going to be? Just simply read the question again. You will get to know what next okay. step is going to be. Uh, Five. Yeah. Five uh, x plus twenty one is equals to. Equals to. Two. Equals two. to two bracket plus twenty one. Two bracket. Two. Yes, two, and then a bracket x plus twenty one. Okay. Now. Can you explain why you have taken this equation here? Explain why you have taken this equation here. Because of the question is saying this. Sir. Question is saying. What does the question say is here? Add 20, add 2. 
the the question says the one of the new numbers becomes the twice the other new number exactly one of the new numbers after adding 21 to it the number one of the number becomes twice of another number that's why we did this and we found out the value of x to be 7 okay so x equals to 7 that is your first number then what is your second number going to be the second number is going to be uh 5 multiplied 7 exactly 5 multiplied 7 so that equals to how much that equals to uh, 35 35 yes 35 35 okay okay so you need to pay attention to the questions each question which we are solving okay if you develop any confusions like sir why you did this step why you take uh, why you took this value what does this mean just stop me there and i will explain it to you because i might ask you to solve the same question which i have solved for you i might might ask you to solve the same question back okay so pay attention to the, each and every step Ahmed. okay okay, sir. okay see question number three what does this question says here question number question three. number three okay before you solve question number three quickly multiply these three values three multiplied 63 gives you how much and three multiplied 21 three multiplied, three multiplied 21 will give us uh, uh, 60 63 yes, 60, 60 63 and 3 multiplied 63 3 multiplied 63 and uh, 183 183 again 189 okay. okay very good come back to question read the question uh sum of digits of two digit is number is nine when we interchange the digit it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27 what is the two digit number okay what did you get from the question explain it to me uh, so we have to do sum of two digits uh, which uh, question says which, that sum of the digits of a two digit number is how much nine nine next what does it say uh, when we interchange the digit it is found that the resulting number is greater than the original number by 27 what is the two, what digit, is the number? two digit number exactly okay so first what we are going to do we are as you going to assume the digits of the two digit number here okay okay so let's say how we are going to solve this question here let's assume digits of the number okay now question says that sum of the digits of a two digit number is nine when we interchange the digit it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27 okay in the first part of the question it says that the sum of two digit number is equal to nine here and when you interchange the position of the digits remember the previous example which you saw in previous class okay where you had to interchange the digits of the number like if you're provided with 56 if you interchange its value what does the new number become 65 it becomes 65 same thing you have to do here so you will interchange the digits of the number okay and then you will found out that the new number is greater than the original number by 27 what is the two digit number here okay okay so let's solve that okay or will you be able to solve this question i'm giving you what two minutes to think of uh, what are the numbers you are going to assume here okay we have already discussed this type of question in previous class okay Ahmed? okay 
I'm giving you two minutes to think of how to solve this question. Um. Sir, it would be. Remember the example number fourteen, in which we discussed in previous class. Yes. Okay. Read this question here. That is almost same to the. Same to the question which we are discussing here. Example number fourteen: the digits of two-digit number differ by three. Uh, if the digits are interchanged and the resulting number is added to the original, we get one four three. What can be the original number? Right. So yes. in this question also, the digits of it, uh, the two-digit number differs by three here, and the present question says you what? Yeah, the present question says you that here the sum of the two-digit number is nine. Okay, so we can assume the numbers like this. Okay, let's assume digit of the number at units place at unit place as x. Okay, and let's assume the number at tens place as what? What is the number at tens place going to be? Remember, the question says that. When you add these two values, it equals to nine. So, which value we are going to take here? Uh, Can we take nine minus x? One. How come uh, one, yes. Ahmed? How come one? Um, If you you just said one, Ahmed. Can you explain that? How here? Why are we going to take one here, Ahmed? Is uh, x plus one thought. going? X plus one going, X plus one is equal to nine here. No, no, no. I was thinking of uh, yeah. nine, one upon nine, or one upon one. One upon nine or nine upon one. Okay, okay. Anyways, look. We will take here such a value that when we you add it to X, it should give you nine. Okay, you can find out like this also, X. Plus dash equals to nine here. Okay, so let's say this value which we are going to take here. Let's say give it any name. Let's say call it a. Okay, we have assumed the value at unit place as x here. We are going to find out with what value should we assume for tens place here. And my question, what does it says here that x plus a should be equal to nine? Okay. Let's assume you can do all this step in the mind on or in rough. You don't have to do it here. Just for the sake of making you understand why we take why are we why we are going to take nine minus x at tens place. I am doing this. Okay, Ahmed. Okay. So let's assume tens place digit as a. Okay. Now a slash q it means according to question. In short, I write it like this: a slash q. So x plus a equals to nine. Is this clear? Why x plus no. a will be equal to nine? Is this clear? No sir. Look, so, because the question says here, sum of the digits of a two-digit number is nine. Read the first line. Sum of the two-digit number is nine. When we interchange a digit, it is found. Just, just, uh, just read the first line. Sum of the digits of a two-digit number is nine. Okay. So since we assume, you see, let's assume digit of the number at unit space at x. So the digit at unit space I have assumed here as how much? As x. Okay. Now okay, my question is that which value should be assumed as tens place? Which digit should we assume as tens place? Since we don't know, 
one value we have assumed, let's say X, then what about another value? Will we take Y? No, because the chapter is about linear equation in one variable. We are talking about only one variable. Okay. So we will be taking only one type of variable in the question. You cannot assume as X and Y here. You cannot assume once digit as X and tens digit as Y because we are dealing with only one variable. Okay, Ahmed. Okay. So that's why we are going to add X plus A and then equate it to nine. So here you will find out X equals to nine minus A. Okay, Ahmed. Okay, sir. Why we did this? Is it clear or not? Then if it's not clear, I will explain again. I'm sorry, it's clear. It's clear. Okay, why are we doing this, Ahmed? Because the question says. Because the question says. What does the question says? Because sum of a two digit number is nine. Okay. So what are the digits we have assumed here? X plus A equals to nine. Okay, which value is which value we have assumed as once a digit? Uh, a. A. And what about the tens place digit? We are have we assumed that as? X. No, digit at tens place. We are going to found out that. Right. We assume that as what? Let's assume tens place digit as A. Okay. Okay. Now what we did X plus A equals to nine. So X is equal to nine minus A here. Okay. Nine minus A here. Or we can do it other way. It's better since we are going to find out A now. We are going to find out A here. So it should be nine minus X. Okay. So A we found out it to be nine minus X. So hence the number at tens place is going to be nine minus X here. Okay. Ahmed. Okay. So did you got it? How we did this? Can you explain this step here? What we just did here? Can you just explain it to me? From here till here, uh, what we did, can you explain it to me? Yes, Ahmed. Sorry, sorry. So, uh, okay, no issue. First, we have the A x plus a equals to nine then we have made a so no from the starting a from the starting a from the starting from here let's assume from here let's assume 10 place digit as a okay. so we assumed x plus a uh, equal to nine and then we have we went and added like a fraction one so equals to nine minus x we have transferred the x to the nine so the value of x has changed to minus sir. okay very good why we did this here is this clear because the question says that sum of the digits of a two digit number here is nine here okay so listen very carefully so first unit digit we assumed as x here okay and we did not knew what value we should be assuming at tens place here so what we did here we assume it as a here okay now since we have to take only one variable okay we cannot take a here as a variable so we added x and a here that is the unit digit this is a unit digit and this is the tens digit here. Okay. That's what the question says here. That sum of the digits of a two digit number is nine. That's why we added both of them and equated it to nine. And we got the tens digit value as nine minus six. Now the real game starts here. Okay. This was nothing. Now the real problem solving starts from here. Okay. 
now we have assumed our number see what the question says for the read the next line when we uh, interchange the digits it is found out that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27 okay yes, so now we have got the uh, now we have uh, assumed the number at unit digit and tens digit as follows x and 9 minus x now we are going to derive the number using these two values so how do we form the number you know that 10 multiplied tens digit plus yeah. unit digit like we did in the previous class okay so just solve this just put the value and get the answer Ten percent. Um. Just a minute. What are we going to do here? Um. I. Ahmed, in the previous class, uh, we did the same thing here. Look. Okay, sorry, I actually erased that. Yeah. Look. You found out the number what you do. If I give you, look, I am again giving you a simple question here. Okay. Let's say there is a two digit number here. Two digit number you need to find out. Okay. The number consists of two digits only. It could be 12, 14, 15, 22, 99, 88, anything. So I say that first digit, first digit is how much? I say you, it is X here. Okay. And I say you, okay, sir. instead of first, you should say unit digit. Okay. And I say that tens digit is how much five here is five here okay so how do you find the number you simply uh, multiply yeah. 10 to 5 and then add x yes, sir. or let's take another value let's make it more simple if i give you at unit digit 5 and at 10 stages i give you 9 what is the two digit required number here Two, I, I can't. Look, Ahmed, when you are solving even simpler maths questions, you need to keep your mind in a very relaxed state. Okay. Sit in a room where there's no, uh, not much background noise, where you are relaxed, and then, and then you will be able to solve the questions very easily. Okay. So just see, it's a very simple question. Okay, I have simply written the unit digit value as 5, 10 digit as 9. You simply need to find out the number. How do we do that? Uh, by, um, by multiplying. By multiplying. Look, let's say I have a number here, 98. Which value is that units place here? Ten. Which value is at units place here? Out of eight and nine. Out of eight and nine. Hundred. No, no. Which value here is standing at units place? Eight or nine? Eight. It is eight here. This is standing at units place. What about tens value? Which value is standing at tens place? Uh, zero no no look you know about look if i have got a number one three five six seven 
how do you pronounce this number we check for the unit values of different numbers this is standing at ones place okay this is standing at tens place five is standing at hundred position right and again three is standing at thousand position that's how we do that now you see that three is standing at what value it is standing at thousand position and what about one it is standing at 10000 okay. position okay so i am simply asking you what is the which value is in this question which value is standing at units place it's one sir it's one look it is not one here it is i have written nine over here had you confusion in reading this had you confusion in reading this Ahmed, yes. unit place is eight here. Which value is at tens place in ninety eight? Ninety eight. It is eight, sir. It is eight here. Look, see this question here. No, in tens <laughs> value. In tens yeah. value, it's nine. It's nine, obviously. Okay. It is at tens place. Okay. Now what we did here. Can I write ninety eight in expanded form like this? How do you expand this number? Am I going? We are going to have ten minutes extra class today. Okay, since I need to complete this question for you. Okay, are you okay with that? Yes. Okay. How do you expand ninety eight? We expand it like this: nine multiplied ten plus eight. Right. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, that yes, gives you ninety plus eight here. Okay. Okay. Same thing we are going to do here. Same thing we are going to do for the question number three, which we are discussing. Okay. Yes, sir. Same thing we are going to do for yes. this question. So we. Say that original number equals to ten multiplied ten digits plus unit digit. Okay, so at ten digit, which value we assume it was nine minus x here. Okay, yes, let me erase this here. Okay, and the number at unit space is x here. Now, can you find out the number? Okay. And, uh... We have we have to find what we have to find. Sir? We have to find the original number here. Okay. Uh. Uh. One plus nine. One plus nine. Look, let me again explain this one here. This value ninety eight, which I expanded here, and wrote it like this ninety plus eight here. Okay. So what I simply did here, I multiplied ten with the value at tens digit here. Which value is at tens digit here? Which value? And nine. It is nine. Okay. And then I added eight here. Okay, and eight is standing here at which digit? At which position? Ninety. You... No, no, no. This eight here is standing at which place? Uh, one. Once. So I added it. So can I write a formula for this like this? Ten multiplied, tens digit. Ten multiplied, tens digit. Plus unit digit. Now is it clear, Ahmed? Yes. Sir. Now it, it is clear. Same thing you have to do here. That at unit place we have got x, and at tens place we have got nine minus x. Simply put the values here, and you will get the answer. So what we are supposed to do here? 
10 multiplied, what is the value at 10's place? It is 9 minus x. Okay. And then you need to add the value at units place that we assumed as. See here. Which value we assumed at unit place? Sir, we have assumed uh, A. No, no. We have assumed the value at units place here as X. Oh, yeah. It is, it is simply written over here, Ahmed. It is assumed as X here. Okay. I guess you are having lots of confusion in this question. Yeah. Oh, yes. yes, sir. Or is it clear or is still some confusion left in this question? There is still some. Okay. 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 Let me begin again. Okay. No problem. Look, what we are doing here, see the question says here that some of the digits of two digit number is nine here. Okay. Yes, some of the digits of two digit number is nine here. And when we interchange the digits, it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by how much? By 27. What is a two digit number here? Okay. So what we said, what we did here. We assume digits of the number at units place as X here. Okay. And my question says that the sum of the two digits, sum of the digits at unit place and sum of the digit at tens place is equal to nine. So I assume the value at tens place as nine minus X here. Okay. Because my question says that when you add these two values, it should be equal to two. It should be equal to nine on adding these values. It should be giving me nine. That's why I took the values as follows X and nine minus X. You can actually check that also X plus nine minus X. How much it equals to? It equals to X plus nine minus X. Um, uh, wait, eight, nine minus x. Uh, it would be minus x, sir. It would be minus x. It would be minus x. How is it so? You have got the values x here, and you are supposed to add it with nine minus mm -hmm. x. So if you open the bracket, it is like this x plus 9 minus x. Okay. Now you say that it should be minus 9. How is that? Look, what are the signs of the variables here? Minus and plus. Minus and plus. So will they not get cancelled? If you add two variables, two same variables with different signs, do they not get cancelled? Like plus x minus x Will they not get cancelled and become zero? They get they get they get cancelled here. So what are you remain with here? What are you left with here? Once this nine. x and minus x gets cancelled, so we are left with nine. Is that not true according to the question? It, it is. It is true according to the question. We basically said that when you add the two digits, it should be equal to nine, and here it is equal to nine, which you saw here. Now further, it says that when we interchange the digits, it is found that the resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27. Okay. So yes, it sir. basically, according to question, it says that original number. Okay. Original number is greater than the new number by 27. Or the new number is greater than the original number by 27, right? Yes, sir. Resulting new number is greater than the original number by 27. So it says that new number new number 
minus original number equals to how much? This is equal to how much? 27. Right? Yes. Okay. That is what the question says. So what we are doing here, we are trying to found out the numbers. We are trying to find out the new number and the original number here. Okay. So how do you find out the number when you provide it with the digits of the number? So we have already found out the uh, units place and tens place value as X and nine minus X. So there's a formula to find out the number that just remember this formula, just memorize this formula. 10 multiplied tens digit plus unit digits gives you a two digit number. I will ask this in the next class. Okay. How to find a two digit number when you're provided with the digits of the number. How do you find that? 10 in multiply 10 digits plus unit digit. plus unit digit just remember remember this it should be on your tips okay i will ask this in next class so we are going to find out the original number like this we will put the tens digit here and we will add unit digit to this so far do you have any confusion no sir everything clear 100 percent uh not 100 percent but yes sir Okay, okay. Be careful while you answer it. Everything is clear, sir, because because I may cross question you. Okay, Amit. What is it yes, that sir. confuses you here? What is it that confuses you here? The how how do we figure out the values? Then how do we general? figure out the values? Yes, yes, okay, like which value is at which place? How do you figure out that? Right? Yes, sir. Okay, look, if I have a number 252. So while I was pronouncing it, I read it as 252. So this two here is at 100 position. Right? Yes. Yes. Five here is at tens position. And yes. it is here at ones position. So you have the numbering system which starts from ones, tens, then you have got tens. tens, then you have got hundred, then you have got thousand, thousand. then you have ten thousand and so on. So you will start counting from the left side, from the right side of the number. Okay, from here. So the first number will be at ones position. Then second number will be at tens position. That's how we figure out the value of the number. Okay. Okay, then. So do uh, so your task is that you will simply put the values in the original number like this, then you will for the new number. What you are going to do, you are simply going to reverse the numbers. I'm just writing the formula and you need to do it as your assignment. Okay. Will you be able to do that? Yes, Ahmed. 